Okay, so as you can see, the linoleum that I put down has been kind of peeling up, not really holding itself down too well. So I'm taking it all up and putting down self stick vinyl squares. And there's 90 in a box. They were 38 cents a piece, so it was like 34 bucks or something for this pack. So let's see how this works. here at this edge this will be under the transition or the, the transition piece here so it won't really matter but I think these are just peel and stick remove uh, immediately after removed from the tile, paper is slippery and may cause injury. Really? You really have to put that on that piece of paper? If it's just me because I don't know what the hell I'm doing or if it's just the uneven floor but it's it's probably because of this gap here I didn't get started exactly square but like there's a little small gap right here and I can't push it any more together I guess it's not hundred percent square but I don't really think it's gonna matter to me to me it doesn't matter I'm just hoping that little gaps like that won't matter in the long run as in getting them pulled up but I don't think so so the best thing I'm going to do is just put it together the best I can. I found out too, you can use this paper to kind of smush it down. Might get a hammer and mess with that. But the problem is I'm ending up on the edge of the sheet and there's a lip here and that's causing causing a disturbance in the force so this is this sheet of plywood is actually a little higher than this and with that gap being there it's making an edge and I might accidentally peel that up so what I might do is try to just see if it'll sit for a few days and then maybe get a little varnish or something put over it and seal it down or maybe not I don't even really know if that's what you should do I'm just making this shit up as I go this is an important step make sure it goes underneath this trim piece that way when you're walking in and out you're not kicking the edge up piece here to go around the box 
I had to cut out a little notch at the top. See how it worked. I cut this tile in half so it'll be a little easier to work with. I still got the other half here I'm going to put in this spot. And I'm kind of just leaning it up against here and kind of tracing it out to see where I need to cut from. And this is a pain. But it'll be close. Close is good enough for me. gap here and you can see that cut line but it made it a little easier to go around that trim or that uh, piece of frame and I'd taken where did it go this off so I can now put this back on Alright, so I found a different way to do it on the end piece. I put this up against where it needs to go. Put my little edge on here. Score it. Cut the paper. Blow it off. Okay guys, final product, tell me what you think, I mean it's not the best, I got a few little spots by the angles, but it, uh, this little spot right here, I could get another piece and put it in there, but I'm not trying to be too anal about it, but, uh, oh, as a side note, I added some shelving up here. Of course, I've got all my junk up here, but this would be the shelving where you put your bowls or whatever while you're microwaving, fixing your food. You can set your stuff up here or whatever. Of course, I put the microwave up here and ran it. And I also have a light up underneath here. So, yeah, these are some of the upgrades. Two shelves, one with the microwave up front now instead of the back. Shelving up here to do workspace. Of course, i got the air conditioner up front now with the... Um, intake so hopefully it'll be intaking cooler air and blowing that out and not bringing hot air inside here I got new flooring down um, just got to put the beds back in and uh, see what's next on the agenda hopefully I'm, I'm almost there I think I'm ready um, 10 more days I think and I'm back on the road so anyway thanks for watching